Welcome back to Michelico, your number one travel channel. Today, we find ourselves in one of the top rated cities in the country to spend Christmas. Now, it is the day after Thanksgiving. We hopped right from the Post Hotel, which if you didn't see that video, you have to watch it. It was absolutely incredible, luxurious spa stay. But just a block away is Leavenworth, walking distance. We're gonna have the perfect day here. Mitch, which is the other half of Mitch Ellico, is actually from this side of Washington. So he knows all the ins and outs. We're gonna tell you all the must-sees, the things to eat, and just spend a perfect day. So come on with us and let's get into it. Okay, so you're probably gonna come over from Seattle. So you'll fly into SeaTac and then you'll take a two hour, actually it's gonna be a little bit longer, probably two and a half hour drive, maybe three hours if traffic's bad, to Leavenworth. But then you get here and then you're gonna wanna stay the night. You're probably gonna wanna stay the night in the Post Hotel. But there are a lot of hotels here, 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 even right behind us. So you'll come through, which is Stevens Pass, you'll come through that way. And then this is gonna be like the beginning and this is where you should start, right here. Here's Gustav's. This is a good family restaurant if you all want to go here and there's a lot of people that you can sit. I think you can get like tables of 20. So if you have a big group, this is a good starter. But we're going to start right here and make our way all the way in to where we just were in Leavenworth. Let's go. Now, what is so special about Leavenworth is that every building in this town looks like it. Oh. From the subway signs to the gas stations, it's crazy. The theme is throughout. And also, every night from Thanksgiving to February, they do a lighting, Christmas lighting, where the whole town lights up. Now, we happen to be here in November, so it's not the best weather. I mean, you want that Christmas feel of snow, and we're right in fall where there's no leaves, but we're here now, so we're gonna recommend that if you want something great to eat, some classy food, you go to Viscani. It's Italian. Uh, Italian food, Mitch knows. And then right below it, if you are a chocolate fiend like we are, you go to the Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory. Um, but also we'll note that there's hotels sprinkled out, there's Airbnbs, there's rentals, but this time of year, it is booked out for months. So if you want to get into this town and spend the night and enjoy the festivities over a weekend, plan ahead. left this is one line right here this is for the Moochin house this place is so famous one it has really good live entertainment that, that comes over <laughs> Sorry, I guess he doesn't it's like delicious. it it's delicious uh, they have live entertainment and it's upstairs and they play musicians you can actually sit upstairs too and have a cool view but they do really good bratwurst that's what they're known for bratwurst beer and then they also have famous pretzels they're giant pretzels with cheese now, if you don't want to wait as long, because this is like the one that's famous. This is famous. Everyone comes here. It has tons of reviews. If you go right behind you, there's a Leavenworth Sausage Garden. During the summer months, this is a good place to hang out too. And during even right now, they do usually have heaters on the ceilings above them because it does get cold. So it's nice to have a hot <laughs> wiener, a hot, a hot <laughs> sausage uh, while you're sitting underneath the heated lamps. It's a great experience. It really feels like you've left America and you're in Germany, but if you really want to hit the major spots, wait in the line, go to the Mujin House. It's a 10 out of 10. Okay, so we just went through the sweet. Now if you like the spicy, you gotta, gotta come and see this. If you like the TV show Hot Ones, come and see how many hot sauces they have in here. Check this out. This has always been a classic. They have it from like, eh, moderate to I'm gonna lose my tongue kind of thing. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> so check this out. Start right off here. It's a fun. So, just number one, we're gonna go with the the, the butt pucker. So, <laughs> oh, uh, it's hilarious. I mean, I don't even know if I can say all these things on YouTube. They might get demonetized. But it's real fun. Um, and if you're a hot sauce kind of sewer, you gotta come here. They have cool patches. They have everything. So just keep on, keep on coming through, and I'll let you guys see through. We'll do a, a pass by on the on the camera. Wait, it must be 
must be 100, 200 people long. There might be some place setters. So like send your husband for them to wait in line while you go shop and go find some other treat at the chocolate store and then come back, get freshly squeezed lemonade and a fat pretzel. <laughs> I didn't say wiener. <laughs> Welcome to the hat shop. Okay, so usually it is so, so cold in Leavenworth. We've been coming here every year since we've met each other and even longer for Mitch. You always need like a full body coat, gloves, a hat. If you don't have them when you show up, there are a thousand shops to choose from that are intertwined in one another. But the hat shop in particular is crazy. They have every hat you could possibly imagine. So if you wanna get silly, you wanna get down, you got a theme party you're going to this Christmas, this is where you go. This is like the final piece of costumes that you need. It, but you don't come here for Halloween. But this, oh, I wish I had the hat. That would have gone perfectly with my outfit. If I was the Queen of Hearts, for, for example. <laughs> Some steampunk. Lots and lots to choose from. Hawaiian, they have one for every temperature of the year and even jumbo ones that you can keep your phone in that have the sleeves that are ridiculous that you find at raves. <laughs> Here we are. This is the designated birthday. I have a candle. I have a pirate with me. He looks the part. Look at that jawline. Okay, I'd come here. I like the themes. Okay, so when I was a kid, I had a cousin and he collected nutcrackers. <laughs> this would be the story you'd come to. I'm not kidding you. I think they had like 150 nutcrackers and they had one like full human size. It's crazy. But you can get nutcrackers for like Peter Pan, all kinds of stuff. Let me show you a couple of them. So I thought we were starting with Barbie, but it's an angel. <laughs> but you can even get, I think this is a dentist. Who needs a dentist nutcracker? I mean, this is crazy. I like this one, Pinecone Man. That's great. Military, it's fun. So uh, I don't know if they're reasonably priced, $45 if you want a nutcracker, but this is a good souvenir, I think, especially if you collect these. This would be fun to come here and check these out. So another cool store in Leavenworth that you're probably not gonna get anywhere else, the nutcracker store. <laughs> Let's head back out. Okay, this is pretty funny. So right, look behind you, you got the Danish bakery, and we got the giant pretzels here. They put pretzels on a tree, and it looks like someone got a little hungry. <laughs> they, they couldn't wait. Uh, but this is a good shop. Again, there's gonna be tons of food. Just come to Leavenworth with an empty stomach, and just eat at every store. Um, again, the must do is a Moochin House. That's a definitely, you gotta do that one. Uh, the Rocky uh, I, uh, chocolate one, that's a really good one. There is a Cold Stone we'll hit up down there, and there is a crepe place. Again, there's so much good food. And a lot of this stuff, you can, like the fudge, you can take it home with you. So if you wanna eat it on the way back home or give it as a gift, there's a, you can enjoy it here and take it as a souvenir, including some of these pastries. If you're nuts about nutcrackers, instead of buying one, you could just visit the Nutcracker Museum. It's only $2 for kids, $5 for adults, totally reasonable, and you get to go through aisles and aisles of themed nutcrackers. But if that's not enough for you, you go back to the other shop that we were just in with Mitch and buy one for yourself. So we know that when you go to like a destination, there are always gonna be horse-drawn carriages. We did one of these in Egypt. They call it the Ferrari the Egyptian Ferrari, and it was a horse and carriage. <laughs> so you have an Egyptian Ferrari. Yes. Yeah, this is a Leavenworth Ferrari. Uh, pretty awesome though, it's pretty cool when you come to a town like this. It's something uh, really good, really fun. It's cool to see around the town, relax. Uh, they give you blankets, and sometimes you can even get hot cocoa, do it with hot cocoa. Which there is a Starbucks in town, that is a big deal. If you are a Starbucks fiend, there is a Starbucks, a nice new Starbucks too. I should have looked up the stats about how many people come to Leavenworth every day. There is a crowd behind us. This is like, I don't know, I wanna say 70%, but then there's another 30% behind you. There's so many people, and this is not even peak season. If you're here during the uh, lighting, during when it's snow, like right before Christmas, you can't even move through this street. It's a full-time shutdown. There's so many people, there's crying babies everywhere. It's great. <laughs> 
If you end up in Leavenworth and your friends are totally jealous of you, don't worry, there is a huge amount of souvenirs to choose from. Every piece of article of clothing you can imagine, the magnets, the shot glasses, they got them all, and all themed exactly for you to take home to make your friends even more jealous. <laughs> So Mitch said that the gingerbread factory is worth the wait. There's a line. I walked by. I haven't been inside, but if there's a line outside, I feel like you have to put it on the list. So it's moved. Oh, we're moving closer and closer. I think there's incredible gingerbread houses on the inside, right? It's cool. It actually looks like a gingerbread house on the inside. Oh, okay. Well, next up. Okay, this is a Dura Sportsman. Um, great little store. Actually, come on, I'll show you guys. Come on inside. So, uh, if you actually come over here, a lot of this stuff is pretty cool. Uh, where I'm from, a lot, most of like majority of your childhood and adulthood you spend outside. Uh, they do skiing. They have skiing here. They have a little tiny ski hill here. Uh, snowmobiling. They do snowshoeing. Uh, there is ice skating here too. So snowboarding. Snowboarding, skiing, yeah, same thing. <laughs> so a lot of outdoor uh, activities you can do here. Rock climbing is a big deal around here too. This is a cool little store if you're local to get this stuff, or if you're like visiting from out of town, you brought your snow machines or your snow sleds here. Pick up some of this stuff. Uh, also, mountain biking is a big deal. There's just so many activities, so many activities to do in Leavenworth, Washington. And if you forgot your stuff, or if you just want to get some new stuff, new merch. Come on in here, it's a great little store. Where it's Christmas all year long. We made it to the Christmas themed store. We just made it across the main square. So we're gonna hop inside. If you have an abundance of money or Christmas runs through your veins, you gotta check it out in here. It's so good. They actually have it where you can like get the categories to match all your Christmas decorations. Check this out. But there is something in the back I like to show you. It's my favorite. Okay, look up at the ceiling. back it gets better. You can see there's like categories. Oh the Christmas towns. Any collectors out there? So when I was a little kid this was the coolest thing ever. I'd like want to spend hours in here. I love this. They're like Legos, but they're like pre-made already. And they, the best thing is they move. That's cool. so cool. As a kid, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Oh, the ski lift moves. Oh, we should get that one. Welcome to South, your Mexican restaurant in Leavenworth. Now, if you're staying here and you want something a little different than bratwurst and pretzels and chocolate, change it up and check out this restaurant. Mitch highly recommends this. Oh, it's my first highly recommend of the video. Um, we think that if you are in the mood for something a little fiesta-like, you should check it out. Okay, so this is the Cedar House. This is cool. I've actually come here a couple times. It's a little bit newer. We're at the very, uh, so we started with, the, with that restaurant at the very end uh, of the other side. Now we're at the very end of this side. And we just did the lower side and we're gonna loop back around and do the upper side of the street. But this is kind of like the end of it. There's a parking lot right there, a Starbucks too right behind me. This is a really good restaurant. And then right next to this, it's like an, you can get beer, a lot of beer here. And on the other side of beer, this town is really known for wine. There's a ton of wine here too. So if you're into the alcoholics, <laughs> in alcohol it's a great place to come uh, and then right here just over to your right there's these awesome tents with again with heaters that's a great place to come after you go for like a snow hike or ice skating or do something in the summer maybe mountain biking you can have a nice beer here it's a great spot this is actually a really good spot the end of this side so some people are alcoholics and some people are, <laughs> are caffeineaholics <laughs> me uh, if you need your caffeine, start on this side. Grab a Starbucks. 
and then work your way back to the other side that we were and then loop back around. So you can actually start on either side. I like that side because you get the good stuff like right away, like the Mushin House. Uh, this side's good too, and they're definitely making this side nicer. But here you go, Starbucks right now, and it's Leavenworth theme. It's a whole lot of drinking. If you don't get your fill with all the snacks and all the food, the restaurants, the things to eat here, the sugar, then you get your fill with the beverages, the cider, the ale, the Starbucks, the wine. Ladies, we are right outside of Chelan. If you are from this area, Chelan has a bunch of wineries and so does Leavenworth. So if you come here, have a nice uh, patio sit, sip your wine, head to this one, Goose Ridge Estate Winery, and enjoy the view. So follow me, I'm gonna show you some sugar, some sweet. Check this out. This is you got that laffy taffy. And then usually they got the taffy machine making taffy back over there, but looks like they made it all. <laughs> but this is an entire candy store. It's pretty cool. Uh, again, if you go to like a how do you say like a destination. Saltwater taffy is usually at that destination. All I think of Seaside, Oregon, they have tons of saltwater taffy. Leavenworth, just like a lot of tourist towns, is the land of themed stores. So you had all the different foods, you had all the different beverages, now you gotta go to all the different themed stores. Right now we found the sock shop. Power Rangers, I don't know what that is. Egos. Egos. There's uh, SpongeBob over here, there's Dragon Ball Z on the other side. Mutant Ninja Turtles, they got it all. Stay cozy and themed. So currently there's just kids rolling down this hill with no snow. But usually, this is covered with snow right here, the whole thing is, and all the kids have sleds and they go at the top there and they slide down for hours, all day. And it's really pretty because you can see all the lights in the trees, they're not on right now, but they'll turn on in a minute. And they can they go sledding that night. It's so cute. It's so fun. They'll do it for hours. Really entertaining. Uh, we do. I do recommend coming. When's the best time to come? Whatever. This is a good time right now. But probably like November or December 15th through like the end of the year is a perfect time. Christmas Day is a great place. A time to be here too. And come sledding. <laughs> Ducks and drapes. Drakes? Drake. Ducks Drake. and drakes, like Drake Nathan the Drake. Rapper. Yeah. Or Drake oh, the Rapper, The yeah. same, same. Okay, it's a great place to hang out, to eat, to lounge around with a group. It's actually down these stairs, but what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go back to our hotel. We're past the two o'clock checkout point, but we're gonna grab our vehicle and then head up to a reindeer farm. Are you ready for this? Let's go. Moments away from Leavenworth, you can take your kiddos or an enthusiastic partner to the reindeer farm. You can feed them, maybe you can pet them, I don't know, but we just heard that it's $30 a ticket. And if you walk this way, it's so artfully decorated. They have the candy canes all the way down. You follow, I bet there is a little shopping center at the bottom for all kinds of goodies that are local and uh, decor for the holidays. So it's just a cute extra activity if you want to get out of the hustle and bustle, but it is sold out today. So if you're interested in doing this, book ahead. Okay, so we just found a little bit more information. Um, it's been here since 2016, so like nine years. In May, if you come here, you can see baby reindeer. I want a baby one. Uh, they have 32 reindeer, um, six babies this year, which is cute, I think that's cute. You get to learn about them, uh, then you get to play with them and take photos. I don't think you get to ride them. <laughs> I would want to ride them. And uh, it, we, it was, thir uh, instead of $30, it's $40. And they are sold out, like, uh, like Ella said. And then, yeah, there is a Santa Claus in case you need a photo with Santa. So cool little thing. Um, you shouldn't walk here, you'd need a car. That's, there's a big parking lot behind us, you're probably gonna need a car. It's about like maybe a mile. So you probably wanna wanna walk a mile here and then a mile back. So if you have a car in town and uh, you bought tickets online ahead of time, there you go, reindeers. So let's go check out this new thing that I have not seen yet. It's called the Alpine Slide. Well, I'm excited, let's go check this one out now. 
We did it guys, we found the one place that the native, Mitch, has not been yet. And you know why? Because it is brand spanking new and sold out. This is the Alpine coaster. We are driving through the main street of Leavenworth and it's like off in the distance. It takes up the whole hillside. It's crazy, it's huge. And it's $36 per person for two coaster rides, so two people per. Um, it is open right now, which last we heard it was closed for the winter. But it's totally open. I'm reading online. It's got the, the price sheet and everything, but it's open for Christmas Eve, 11 to three, Christmas day, 12 to seven, uh, New Year's Eve, 11 to seven. It's open on all the holidays because this is the Christmas town. This is where you come to spend the holidays and enjoy. But one side note is that this town's actually really good in the summer too. You can blow up the river. You can totally enjoy this. I can see on a hot summer day. So just something to note, but overall, Leavenworth is incredible and if you haven't heard of it it's in Washington like we said it's the Christmas town to spend your time Mitch was saying that you could easily spend though $1,500 per person if you stayed for a weekend with the hotels being a little bit on the, uh, the more expensive side you know it's a touristy town you're eating you're indulging in the treats and the activities you're looking at reindeers you're looking at reindeers there's a lot to see and do here and if you only come here once do everything but book ahead anyways it's more on the uh spendy side we would say but overall thank you so much for watching make sure you check out that post hotel legendary and like and subscribe but we will see you on the next one